Hello Pandora lovelies and welcome back to the Art of Pandora YouTube channel. I am Lena and I'm going to take you through some of my new Valentine's Day rings today. So Leanne, who is mad for Pandora, she um, commented on our previous Valentine's Day video that she would love to see some of the new Valentine's Day rings of which I did buy two. So I would love to take you through a bit of a tour of my Valentine's Day ring collection and stacks for this year. So I'll start with some old ones. I do have um, a really special ring stack with the gorgeous, gorgeous um, pink sparkling crown ring and then the pink solitaire ring both in rose gold um, plating and they've got these amazing little crystals the um, pink sparkling crown ring actually has pink crystals on the inside and me and one of my work colleagues bought um, the same rings so sometimes at work we actually twin with our rings so we went to Pandora together as a special treat after a big long day at work one day and then we bought this ring stack and we both have the same ring stack so it's quite special because it sort of um, encompasses our friendship so that's really cool I definitely wear it a lot and um, I'm wearing it this Valentine's Day because of the gorgeous pink colors that go with my Valentine's Day bracelet pinks as well I've got some light pinks I've got some more fuchsia kind of colors and then the reds too so I thought this goes really nicely with the light pinks and the fuchsia colors so that's one that I'll definitely be wearing this Valentine's Day on Tuesday um, then I've got my Beauty and the Beast um, rose ring which is gorgeous as well. It's got the crystal in the middle. It's got the amazing little crystals on the petals, which symbolize the petals that then fall. And then these CZ crystals in the looped leaves. I just think this is a stunning ring. Um, I've loved taking photos of this ring as well on my Pandora Shark page. You can see some of my photos of that ring. And um, I also did a blog post on the Art of Pandora blog with the, Val with the um, Beauty and the Beast collection. So um, I do love, love, love the Disney collection. So it's a very special ring to me. And of course, red roses symbolize Valentine's Day. So um, yeah, that's made it to my hand this year for Valentine's Day. Then I have my wedding ring and my engagement ring, which is rose gold. And then I've got my diamond. So it fits into everything, all my color schemes. I always wear my wedding ring. I always wear my engagement ring. Now let's start with a new ring in the collection, which is this really cool Radiant Heart Parve signet ring. And it's been a while since Pandora released a signet ring, as you can see, and I'll take it off so you can see a bit clearer. As you can see, it is a bit more chunky. Um, think back to those sort of Keith Haring rings. It's got that kind of vibe and mine is a little bit fingerprinted because I do actually wear a lot of my rings. Like I don't save my rings. I love to wear them. So apologies for any fingerprints. Um, but it's got this really cool sort of double layered design. So you could look at it as, you know, someone's heart within yours or your heart encompassing someone else's. I think it's really nice how they've got that concave multi-dimensional heart design with the CZ crystals there. And it does sort of go in, like you can see how it dips in there. So that's really, really pretty. It catches the light beautifully, the natural sunlight and also the, um, you know, lights in the shops and lights in restaurants and things like that. And then on the inside, hopefully you guys can see, I'll try to get it to focus. It says, all for love on the inside, all for love, there it is, engraved, which is like their motif, their word motif this year, which I think is really beautiful. Um, it's a really nice hand finished sterling silver. It's really smooth and nice to touch. And signet rings used to be um, used for like, stamping documents. So you'd stamp them with the end of your finger, like your pinky finger. Um, you'd take it and then you'd stamp a document and it would be a signet, kind of your signature, I guess, or your stamp. So I think that's really nice. It's got that identity message about it as well. Um, so that's one hand of my Valentine's Day ring stack. Now let's take a look at the other hand. So there's a few golden oldies here. So we've got from last year's collection, the rings, these two gorgeous stackable um, solitaire heart shaped rings. And I love how you can stack them either which way or you can wear them separately. There's that gorgeous red crystal and there's the gorgeous like um, cubic zirconia clear crystal. Then I have another two-toned um, ring from last year with the heart with the beautiful 14 karat gold 
plating in the middle and then the sterling silver that goes around the edge. So I just think this is so simple and beautiful. And again, if you look at my Pandora Shark Instagram, you'll see some photos of this where I've sort of featured it and I love it from a while back. And then most excitingly, um, we have our gorgeous radiant two-toned sliding heart ring. Now the cool thing about this ring, and I am gonna take it off so that you can see, one moment. So the cool thing about this ring is that the heart actually slides to and fro. Um, so there it is there. It does slide backwards and forwards and it's kind of caught on these little notches at the back. So it doesn't go any further than it's caught on that little heart notch at the back and it doesn't go any further either which way. So that's really cool, but it does slide and I love that movement. If you're a bit of a fidgeter, like you like to fidget with your hands, this is a great ring because you can sort of sit there touching it while you're in a meeting, moving it around, <laughs> giving your hands something to do. Um, I also really like the gorgeous 14 karat gold plating that we have on this heart as it moves. And when it's on your hand, it doesn't really move. So it's not like it's sideways on your hand at all, but you can move it. Um, if you want to, and it does look like it sits straight, like you saw my hand before. It doesn't, it doesn't make it go out of whack or anything like that. And again, engraved on the inside is all for love, which I think is really special and a beautiful message for Valentine's Day this year. Um, yeah, and it's again, like a nice sort of heavy ring. Like it's not heavy to wear, but you definitely are getting a lot of material <laughs> bang for your buck. Um, so I think that's really nice. It's nice to have the sort of jewelry that you can feel, I think, and um, it, it is a feature piece and it goes really well with other 14 karat gold plated jewelry too. And all the other two-toned um, charms and bangles, this goes perfectly. It's a very universal theme. Um, and that idea of, you know, going where your heart takes you is what Pandora said about this ring. So the fact that the heart moves and you sort of go with it, go where it takes you, I think is really, really nice as well. So that is my ring stack for this year's Valentine's Day. Um, I got the this two-toned ring in 56. Um, some of my other rings are 58. This one, the signet ring, I got in size 50 because I wanted it to go on my pinky because a lady in store convinced me that that's where signet rings should go. So I was like, okay, I'll put it on my pinky and see how I go, see if I like it. Um, and I do, I love it actually. And it's not too heavy. I thought, well, maybe it's a bit chunky for my pinky finger, but it's actually not too heavy. So I actually really like both of them. Um, and I've been liking chunky rings of late as well. Like I really like the Keith Haring rings that were a bit bigger. Um, and so I've really liked these sort of standout feature rings too. Um, and I think they look really cool. And they bring that sparkle and bit of a love for Valentine's Day. So I hope you all have a very happy Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day or just celebrating yourself. Um, if you are single, I think there's something special in buying something for yourself just to celebrate you or to have a partner buy something for you is really special as well or buying something for a girlfriend um, I think is really really nice so um, I hope you guys have a wonderful lovely love feel Valentine's Day and I will see you there are upcoming releases really soon that I'm super excited about we know there's a Marvel one there's some other charms that I've seen leaked online which I'm excited to preview if we get the permission to do so so please stay tuned. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these videos. Thank you so much for your support and lovely comments. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.